is not jealous. Love is not pompous. It is not inflated. It is not rude. It does not seek its own interest. It is not quick tempered. It does not brood over injury. It does not rejoice over wrongdoing, but rejoices with the truth. It bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. seeing how well they, they work together and uh, how they interact with each other as individuals and, and how they treat each other as equals really makes me confident that these are the people that are supposed to be together. And I don't think I can think of anyone better for my brother in particular to, to have found and to have decided to start the next chapter of his life with. And even when we do things as a group or they do things together where um, in particular, we did a, a rugged maniac race, which, for those of you that are not aware, it is a three-mile slog through obstacles and slimy, sticky mud that gets <laughs> in covers everything. <laughs> but we did it. They did it, and they did it as a group. They helped each other through each of the obstacles. They helped each other and stayed with each other through the entire thing. And at the end, they went down the, the last obstacle and finished together. And I don't think that there is a better kind of analogy for uh, marriage and having to go through any and all difficulties that are associated with that and still coming out and being able to do it and say it together. It's quite the honor to be up here talking about two of my favorite people. As most of you know Emily, it's no surprise that I feel beyond grateful to have been given her as a sister. There's no one else that I would rather run through Disney with, or watch a Disney fireworks with, from home on the TV, <laughs> or belt out and dance to The Greatest Showman with, discuss Harry Potter with, and definitely, without a doubt, no one I would rather play Clue with. But seriously, not even as a sister, but as a human being, I'm sure we can all think of a time when Emily has dropped everything to support somebody else. Um, animals included, because let's <laughs> face it, if someone's gonna rescue a wild animal and then rehab it on her own because the clinic is too busy, it's gonna be Emily. Yeah. <laughs> uh, she has such a large, kind heart, and I have no doubt that's a, that is just one of the qualities that Matt has loved as well. I think the best way to describe Matt is to tell the story of when we first met. Come with me on a journey. The year 2016, the month February. Amidst a snowstorm and some rather chaotic life moments, I had driven home from Maine to Massachusetts with Audrey, who is not yet two. Uh, I pull up to the house and Matt comes out. Hi, nice to meet you, and proceeds to carry Audrey in her car seat and all of my bags into the house. After I had settled in, I walk into the kitchen to find Matt rocking Audrey and petting our beloved Toby at the same time. Instantly I said, oh my goodness, Emily, hold on to that one. <laughs> Luckily for us, she did. And so here we are, many joyful memories later, toasting a beautiful couple with a tale as old as time love and to a strong happily ever after. 
always.